Hi there. After this lesson, you should be able to multiply and divide expressions in scientific notation. Do you like pizza? Did you know that Americans consume roughly 3 billion pizzas per year? If there are about 128 million households in the United States, approximately how many pizza is the average household expected to eat? Before we answer that, let's take a look at how to mul multiply and divide numbers of this magnitude. Let's start small, really small. Let's multiply three ten thousandths times 72 millionths. To help us with our calculations, we will write these numbers in scientific notation. We will move the decimal point over until we get a number greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. And that will tell us the power of 10 to multiply by. Since our original number is less than 1, our power is negative. So we have 3 times 10 to the negative 4th on the left times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 7.2 times 10 to the negative 5th on the right. Great! Since we are dealing with all multiplication, we can use the commutative property to rearrange and write this as 3 times 7.2 times 10 to the negative 4th times 10 to the negative 5th. 3 times 7.2 is 21.6. The properties of exponents tells us to add exponents to get 10 to the negative 9th. Okay, we're almost there. The last thing we want to do is make sure the answer is in scientific notation. Since our first factor is greater than 10, we must manipulate it. Moving the decimal one place to the left does the trick. And since in doing so, the factor got smaller by a power of 10, I must make sure that my power of 10 on the right gets larger by one power of 10. Great! Our answer in scientific notation is 2.16 times 10 to the negative 8th. Okay, let's take a look at some much larger numbers. 5 million divided by 350,000. Again, writing these numbers in scientific notation will help us to calculate the answer. Notice this time that our powers of 10 are positive because we are dealing with numbers larger than 1. Okay, let's rewrite this problem as the product of two fractions so that we can first divide 5 by 3.5 to get this very long decimal. We will round to the nearest tenth. Then, by the properties of exponents, the quotient rule tells us to subtract exponents. And I'm just going to continue writing my work up here. Subtract exponents to get 10 to the first power. Our answer is 1.4 times 10 to the fourth power. Or we can write this in standard notation to get 14. Good job! All right. Now let's go back to our pizza problem. There are 3 billion pizzas being consumed by 128 million households per year in the United States. We are trying to find out the number of pizzas each household eats every year. Well, if we divide the 3 billion pizzas by the number of households, we should get our answer. As in previous examples, let's start by writing each number in scientific notation. 3 times 10 to the 9th divided by 1.28 times 10 to the 8th. We will rewrite our problem so we can easily see we should first divide 3 by 1.28. Dividing, we get 2.34375. I'll just round to the nearest tenth to get an approximate answer. Then, using the quotient rule, I subtract exponents to get 10 to the first power. I can leave my answer in scientific notation or quickly write it in standard notation to see that the average household consumes about 23 pizzas each year. Now it's your turn. Evaluate each expression below. Express your answer in both scientific and standard notation. We can rewrite part A like so. 8 divided by 2.6 gives us this decimal. Let's round to the nearest tenth. If you round it as something different, that's okay too. 
Now the quotient rule tells us to subtract exponents to get a final answer of 3.1 times 10 to the negative second, or written in standard notation, 0.031. Okay, and for part B, we will use the commutative property to rewrite this multiplication problem like so. 5.1 times 4 gives us 20.4. The product rule tells us to add exponents to get 10 to the 10th power. Remember, don't stop there. Since our first factor is greater than 10, we must manipulate it to truly get it into scientific notation. So let's move the decimal point one place to the left to get 2.04. And since in doing so, the factor got smaller by a power of 10, I must make sure that my power of 10 on the right gets larger by one power of 10. Great. Our answer in scientific notation is 2.04 times 10 to the 11th. Or I can also express this answer in standard notation as 204 billion. Way to go.